Nikola Tesla was a great inventor and scientist. He's the guy that made electricity available to everybody. I thought Edison invented electricity. Edison was another inventor and along with Tesla, he actually worked together for a while making generators. Tesla was interested in AC, but Edison preferred working with DC. This started the Great War of the Currents. <laughs> Actually, AC stands for alternating current, and DC stands for direct current. What does that mean? I know alternating means to switch and direct me in one way, but what's that got to do with electricity? Well, you're right. In alternating current, it's the direction of the electric charge that is switching. AC is a safe way to transfer electricity over long distances. We use AC power things in our house like TVs and your video games. It's more efficient because it can travel farther without losing electricity. Direct current's different. The electric charge doesn't switch. It only flows in one direction. DC isn't very efficient. In fact, if direct current was used to power our homes, we'd have a large power plant every mile. But DC still used today. Everything that uses batteries runs on DC power. Basically, DC electricity can be stored, and AC can't be stored, but does travel distance efficiently. So if AC is better, why did Edison want to power the world with DC? Edison had a lot of money invested in his work with direct current. Back in the 1800s, electricity was so new, scientists were trying out different ways to get electricity into homes. The public was more familiar with Edison since his research was conducted in America. Tesla, a Serbian raised in Croatia, moved to America, so people weren't familiar with his work. Wow, that sounds like a big deal. Who won the War of the Current? Mr. Edison, we're going to use your invention to power the world. And Mr. Tesla, we're going to use yours in the background of Frankenstein movies. That's Frankenstein. Oh, I wanted that one. Actually, there wasn't a clear winner, but Tesla did make it so our homes are powered with the more efficient alternating current. Plus, a lot of his inventions are still being used today. Really? Inventions like what? Well, lots of things. The main thing is he's known for is turbines. Oh, turbines. We saw those on my field trip to the dam. That's how water makes electricity, right? Yeah. Water turns a wheel which makes magnets spin around a copper wire. This is called an induction generator and creates electricity. Yet another one of Tesla's great inventions. So alternating current, turbines, and induction generators. What else did Tesla invent? His ideas make a lot of our gadgets we use today possible. Gadgets like my iPhone? Well, not quite, but cell phone technology does use his discoveries of radio wave transmission. I've always been told Macaroni invented the radio. <laughs> you mean Marconi. Marconi did invent the radio, like the one in our car, but he took Tesla and other scientists' ideas to create the radio. It was Tesla's patent that made the radio possible. They discovered how electricity moves through the air by radio waves. So did Tesla do anything with his radio wave discoveries? You betcha. Tesla's greatest dream was to make electricity available to everyone, regardless of income or location. So he built a Tesla coil that would send electricity through the air by radio waves. A house would have a receiver that would bring the electricity into the home. I wonder what that would look like. Well, guess what? That's why we're here. Really? We get to see a Tesla coil? Get ready. It looks like it's almost time to see Tesla's dream in action. <laughs>